Especially in my father, you know, even my grandparents, they always, they always support me. Whenever I tell them something that I want to do, they just always tell me, okay, just make sure you put your best foot forward, you know. And it's always it's very important to have people like that because it always makes you know that, okay, whatever you want to do, you need to do it the right way, you know. And you need to do it in a very good way as well, you know, like every time, period, you know, like anything you do when you wake up. It's all up to you to do your best in whatever it is you do. You know, do it the most efficiently and just the, the, the best you can. And at the end of the day, you can only be satisfied with that. You know, and it's, if it's people that's trying to bring that out of you, you know, bring satisfaction with yourself out of you, then you know that's the that's you can't ask for anything more at the end of the day. Even if you have a lot of light on you. Uh, your team has to be able to branch that and put that in the right areas, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Well, like, even beyond just the people that help you make you better, it, they make you better subconsciously as well because you see your friends or, you know, just someone you look up to, a mentor, you know, um, you look up to them, you see them doing so many different good things, and it automatically just makes you, okay, I see them doing this, so what am I going to do to make, you know what I'm saying, myself a better person? Which is, you know, what am I going to do to make more money with anything, just period. It's not even truly about the money. It's just about, you know, like being a better person and better for the people around you, you know. And choosing those people around you is so important because without that, then, you know, it's only going to bring negative things to you. This week, Dangerous Livestream roamed the streets of Detroit and finally caught up with designer Alwyn Owens, founder of Forever Brand. Still a work in progress, Owen shares with us how the Forever Brand legacy began and what the future entails for his company, in addition to a special invitation to an evening of art. Remaining relevant in the fashion community, Owens often features a new design to overlay exclusively released lines, but the heart of Forever Brand will always include his original logo portraying the musical symbols of a treble clef and bass clef engulfing what is the Japanese character for the English word forever. This to Owen shows the love and positivity of diversity bringing something new and hip to the Detroit scene. Me and my friends, we all just always had our own sense of style and stuff. So uh, one of my friends, he actually started his own clothing line. And I saw what he was doing, you know what I'm saying? And I also like always like Japanese in their own style, you know. And I feel like I could bring something different to the city. A lot of people always copy each other in their style and things like that. And I just wanted to bring my own sense. And at the same time, bring a positive light bring uh, something that could create opportunities for the people around me and stuff. So uh, yeah, that's basically what it is. Forever Brand is just, uh, I don't know, I say forever because uh, your legacy lives forever and what you leave behind, no matter when you die, you know what I'm saying? Or like say something was to fail, what you did and what you brought about from that is always gonna uh, be a part of your life if not anybody else's, you know, especially if you're trying to bring positive light to a lot of different things. That's what Forever Brand is all about. The journey for Owens began with a small step at first. Branding through t-shirts at his then testing grounds, Cass Technical High School, he soon saw his marketing potential and began stamping his prints on a variety of products. All it is is to do it, you know, at the end of the day. You can plan for years and never put something into motion. And you're never, in that time that you've been planning for years, that's like, you know, that's like slow progression to me, you know. And slow progression is still progression, but you want to, get something started and get something progressed as much as possible. Like t-shirts, five years from now, is only gonna be something that comes every once in a while, you know? Like I'm, right now, I'm working on things that aren't t-shirts anymore, you know? Like shorts and, and pants and jackets, windbreakers, you know, hats, all kind of different things, you know? Like to the point where t-shirts don't even really matter. A t-shirt was really just something at the time that everybody was into, and that was a good way to market myself as a brand when I was just starting out, you know? Like I hadn't done anything, you know? In order to get that startup money, you had to, uh, you know, you, you got to hustle the way you can. So t-shirts at the time in high school, you know, like everybody was buying t-shirts for the new J's and the new gym shoes and stuff like that. And my logo just so happened was like, 
like, you know, the colorways and like a lot of the different Jordan colorways. It was just something to start from, you know what I'm saying? Like, it was just just uh, a way to fund the brand and fund, make sure that I knew, you know, like, for one, it got me into the fashion. And fully submerged in the fashion world, Owens continues to expand Forever Brand at his attendant university, Western Michigan, and also partnering up with other positive community affiliates and making plans to market within small local boutiques and traveling venues. I usually release things in a limited quantity just to keep things, you know, like more of an exclusive type thing because it's really just me right now. Once I uh, get to that, that giant, that big manufacturing type thing, then I'll be more impressed to put it in like different stores like Burn Rivers, you know, like the... This is smaller boutiques and things like that, the private home boutiques. That's always been my type of style anyway, you know. So I love to see my clothes there. And then like uh, by the end of the summer I'm gonna do like a couple pop-up shops. I've done those before, you know, but like I'm gonna do like, you know, like a more solid pop-up shop where it'll last maybe a few months and that would be pretty cool. And it's a lot of different venues, a lot of different areas in Kalamazoo, Detroit, you know, like East Lansing, Ann Arbor area that I'll probably do eventually. Definitely throughout the fall and things like that. It'll be uh, they're going to be like a college tour in the fall, and I'll probably definitely sponsor them in some kind of way, give them some shirts so they can sell those at all the different shows. You know, then they're going to do an HBCU tour in the spring, most likely. So yeah, that's going to be live. You know, it's uh, yeah, it's really just about the expansion. Just keep growing. Just keep it moving. That's all it's really about. To learn more about Forever Brand, go to the website shown to check out exclusive styles or order upcoming releases. Even in the arts, it's just basically a collective of me and a good friend of mine, DeAndre Wright. He's uh, starting a production company called Taste Detroit, and they're going to do video and things like that. Just highlighting, uh, you know, it's like Detroit culture. Forever brand and Taste Detroit, we just getting together. we doing an art show, a fashion show. I'll be bringing out my summer and fall line. And we'll have a whole bunch of other uh, brands and musical artists come out, you know. The Zoo Music Group, Culture is rapping. Uh, we got Austin Icon, we got Fuzz Gang, they coming through, you know, we got Trey Grams, you know, like all different people from the Kalamazoo, Detroit, East Lansing area going crazy. It's just so much going on, it's just like not something you just want to miss. It's definitely real nice. Uh, it's bringing something real nice to the city too, that's what I really like about it. Uh, nothing is really final, you know, except for death. You know, <laughs> until you die, you really can keep going, you can really keep trying doing whatever you need to do it, you know, to make something good happen. You can make something positive from any negative at any time. So just keep it going. Don't think that just because you fail once, that's the end of the road. Because a pothole is only a pothole, you know what I'm saying? There's still plenty of road all around it. You just got to keep it.